Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be unlearning what you know about liquidity and you're going to relearn liquidity the real way. All right. Now, this is all attributed to my study, all attributed to what I have been observing in price and also all attributed to what I have learned from ICT. But here's the thing. Here's what ICT is not telling you. For every single concept that he has, he literally doesn't give you the mechanical way to do it. I'm telling you, he shows it to you, he explains it, and then done. Done and dusted. Then you're left to find out everything by yourself. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not hating on him, but I'm just telling you what I've seen. Okay? So in this video, we're going to be learning about liquidity. How you are supposed to be viewing liquidity. Okay? Now you're going to say, Sean, come on. We knew this because what you're about to see is you're going to see something that you already know. But the only addition is going to be the rule that I've set for you to identify what these liquidity pools look like. Stacked liquidity. That is what we're going to be talking about. So stacked liquidity is essentially relative equal highs and lows with a mechanical twist. Now, as you all know, algorithms that run price, they go about doing it by offering counterparty liquidity within gaps and also outside of liquidity pools upon raiding these liquidity pools. By the way, a mitigation within an up-close or down-close range generates the required liquidity that will act as fuel in the future, as fuel in the future. Now, this act of mitigation creates what I call stack liquidity. Now, ICT theorists call this low resistance liquidity. Okay, But the problem is they view it within the lens of a pattern. It is not a pattern. I mean, it kind of is, but it isn't. Okay, so take a look. How do we use this information? Watch. Stack liquidity is your obvious draw liquidity. Now, I'm sure if you guys have referred to my other videos now, my price action review videos, the commentary videos, you will see me shitting on. <laughs> Everyone that's regurgitating and repackaging ICT content. Now, what, what, what are the rules that these people give you something that's supposed to be obvious? Oh my God, my friend, in order for you to use this theory, that theory, you must have obvious drawn liquidity. <laughs> How is that different to ICT? Huh? I mean, you come to YouTube looking for a quick, you know, looking for a quick answer, but then the other asshole says, find the obvious drawn liquidity. <laughs> I'm going to give you the answer. Look at this. Stacked liquidity. Okay, now I'm going to draw my little thingamajig over here. Watch. Here, can you see how we have this up close candle? It kind of it, it is a rejection block, right? But it is also an order block on some fractal interval. Okay. See how this we got a reaction right here from the swing point. The moment we form that swing point, this guy becomes stacked liquidity. Why? Because there's a lot of orders that are going to be stacked over here. Okay, the stop loss is going there. The liquidity is going there because of this reaction. It caused the market to go down just a bit. That is stack liquidity. And when price takes it out, rejects, and starts selling off, what is that? That is a change in the state of delivery. And that is also known as order pairing. Okay. This, as you'll see in the next few slides, you'll see that. The candle that takes out stack liquidity, once we trade in the other direction, will be displaced in the other direction. That is your change in the state of delivery. Then telling you that, ah, there, that's the manipulation. So if you're going to use my three-part uh, method for doubling theory and power of three expansion, if you watch my, if you, if you went ahead and watch my uh, price action commentaries, you'll know that when price takes out stack liquidity, that is your manipulation. Then you can expect what? Distribution. Okay, that's how you can anticipate these phases of price easily. Now watch. See over here, we have this rejection block because why? We close back inside. Here we wick, pausing and close back inside. We use the wick and then we sell off, right? So that's a big rejection. So what is the stack liquidity then? Hmm? Stack liquidity is basically all this liquidity over here. Okay, now if you fail to see this, I'm sure because it's 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 by a very minute basis 
of uh, uh, you know the pips. So let's say this one here, rejection block. Still, you got the reaction, you got the mitigation. This is your stack liquidity, okay? When price takes it out, rejects, starts trading lower here. That is your change in the state of delivery. So now what? This is manipulation. Now what? Ah, this is distribution. Now you see, huh? I'm giving you gold right here. Gold. Listen carefully. Come back to this example. Replicate this on your chart and you see that my channel is going unnoticed. <laughs> if only majority of you watch this, there will be a game changer. Okay? Now watch. Here, what do we have? Look carefully. See, we have this order block here. Why? Because we have a little stop hunt there. We trade above it. That's your change in the state of delivery. Mitigated here, right? That's your stack liquidity. What does it do? It provides you a retracement. Why is it retracing? Why is it not reversing? Why? Because look, stack liquidity here also. So if this is your supposed drawn liquidity, then what? Price is drawn over here, right? Huh. There, I saw one riddle for you. Okay, price is drawn there. Done, finished. Then you have another selling opportunity. Okay, now all these selling opportunities, what it's doing is it's creating stack liquidity on the other side. And that is giving you, or that is providing the fuel in the marketplace to, what? Take a short meaning from here. Okay. Take our stack liquidity here. When we trade above this candle, because that's the candle that took it out, took the liquidity pull out, that is your change in the state of delivery. Now, on a lower time frame, you will see that there's a candle over here. So you can use that to take part in the long, to go for this high stack liquidity pool. Okay. And we go take it out, start selling off. See how easy it is, right? All you have to do is just back test. Put in the work and you see the results will follow. Okay. Now, because we got a mitigation there at this point, that becomes your new stack liquidity pool. What will you, what will you do? Assume we take a short over here, somewhere here. Ah, uh, guaranteed take profit here. Price will come here. It will not stop before that. Any a, all of these up moves, another selling opportunity. If you know what your obvious drawn liquidity is. Now you know what obvious means within double quotes. <laughs> yeah, quotes. <laughs> okay. Change the state of delivery. The candles that take out stack liquidity are high probability candidates for order blocks and anything CSD related. So this can also be fair value gaps. This can be liquidity voids, BCCB, GP, Gibby, anything you name, you name it. These are your high probability candles that will be used in order to move price, okay? In order to move price. Don't believe me, watch. See, huh? this was stack liquidity there, what happened? Okay, that's one. Yeah, that is one. Then see, this this guy this guy over here took our stack liquidity, right? Now watch. See the resistance, natural resistance? Hmm? Okay, let's see something else. Uh, this wick to call stack liquidity, so rejection block. You see? Anything else? Let's see. Here we have order block. There. There. Okay. This wick here. When we close below it, what is price doing? Using it to sell off. It works. I'm telling you. 100% of the time. This is the truth of the market. Along with my fractal dealing ranges and also my entire fractal framework as a whole outside of ICT. Right? So I hope you found this insightful. If you did like this video, please leave a like and leave a comment as well showing your appreciation. And I'll see you in the next one. Good luck and good trading. Bye-bye.